Well, my friends, welcome back to the Friday Funnies. I gotta tell you, we are getting close to the end of political ads on TV. I mean, they're all the same. They're all horrible. Here's a transcript of one I saw last week, and I quote, You suck. No, you suck. I'm right. No, you suck. Repeat ad infinitum. Unfortunately, we're also getting close to the end of daylight savings time, which means that we get to add an extra hour to the suckiest year we have ever seen. Thanks a lot, Ben Franklin. If I do happen to get elected, that's Dale for POTUS 2020, I would put an end to daylight savings time. But until that happens, let me tell you another popular idea. When you combine COVID-19 with colder temperatures and earlier darkness, you tend to do what you do best, and that is eat. It's a hibernation thing. So to prevent you from becoming despondent over that you're gaining weight, I suggest scale savings time. Where when you turn your clocks back, you turn your scales back. I'd suggest 10, maybe 20 pounds. It's up to you. That way you can snack and survive until you have to get ready for swimsuit season. It's genius, I have to admit, and I've got even more genius in me. So if you don't like anybody else when you go to vote, remember, Dale for POTUS, 2020. Frequent Friday Funnies contributor Richard Rosso drew our attention to a story from Victoria, Australia. In the rural area there, a rancher had 40 of his cows get loose and start to wander. Now the owner was able to round up most of the cows, but one of them went for a stroll and was found about a mile away at another residence uh, on the trampoline in the backyard. Now, as you can imagine, it's not easy for a cow to stand up on a trampoline. It's funny to watch, but it's not easy. But she was rescued thanks to a front-end loader a neighbor had. And when asked by the press why she did it, the cow was heard to reply, I was trying to jump over the moon like the story said, you twit. That's what they heard the cows say. They drink a lot in Australia. <laughs> Chico Rodriguez is a senator for the state of Roayama in Brazil. His house was raided this week by police following an investigation into the misuse of COVID-19 response funds. During the raid, it became apparent that Rodriguez was hiding some of his cash, and it was found wedged beneath his, or between his butt cheeks. There you go. A robot was used to pull it out. When asked why he had cash in his tush, Chico said, Hey, I don't have a wallet. <laughs> In Topeka, Kansas, police responded to an incident reported at the Petro Deli. A 17-year-old boy showed up at the deli naked. Huh? Then he started to damage the place, throw stuff around, and finished by covering his naked body with ranch dressing. They said he was obviously under the influence of something, so they were taken to a hospital, and then he was returned to his parents. Well, whoever you are, you little whack job who thinks he's a chicken wing, take pride in the fact that you are our dumbass of the week. And that's it for this week, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Please uh, pass these on to everybody you know, because especially in times like this, we all need a good laugh. Take care, and I'll see you next week with a special, uh, what do you call it, edition? Halloween. Our special Halloween edition. <laughs>